Hey guys, welcome back to Star Citizen. I hope you're having a great day, wherever you are that you're watching this video from, and thank you so much for joining me for a new episode of Star Citizen. So, in this video, I wanted to go ahead and do some uh, investigation work, right? There's a few investigation missions uh, within the game at the moment, and I accepted one of them. And it's over here by, it's a derelict ship near Delamar, right? It's a constellation wreck that we're supposed to go ahead and uh, check out. Okay, that was a long travel time, wasn't it? So as soon as our quantum engine has cooled down, as you can see, it's 19 seconds, we're going to jump to QM3, which will put us uh, onto the other side of Delamar, then we can uh, get to the uh, destroyed constellation. Okay, so there's the wreck site over there. So, let me try and give you guys the background of the uh, the mission. So, we go to the accepted stuff, and there it is. So, TriStar Private Intelligence Group, okay, has requested us to go and um, do some investigation work about uh, about a particular chief engineer, Ross. Baron, and known as Baron Russ Kolakowski, also known as Baron. So it says, recently a constellation ran into some unfortunate luck and was destroyed. Since around the same time, no one has heard of or seen Russ, known as Baron Kolakowski, and it is our current belief that they may have been aboard when the uh, constellation met its fate. We are looking for a contractor to complete a survey on site at the constellation's remain and ascertain if Kolakowski is there. We've been asked to expedite matters and are looking to settle this ASAP as soon as possible. We would be remiss if we did not remind you that venturing out into the wreck site would potentially be hazardous and all caution should be used. Roger that. So let's go ahead and get to the uh, wreck site and let's see what happened. Let's see if we can find out where uh, Ross Kolakowski is. Now these kinds of missions are really really interesting in my opinion. They add to the whole immersion of the uh, game. They add so much to the game in my opinion. So I'll get back to you guys uh, once I'm closer to the uh, wreck site. Okay guys, welcome back. So we're 35 kilometers from the actual wreck site and we have another um, ship here. A Super Hornet. Which is interesting. Hopefully he's not a pirate. He could be.
Okay, so there's an actual uh, NPC pirate down there. Darian Grisham. So we're going to have to get rid of him. We can't just leave him. Otherwise he's going to uh, bother us. Oh, he's shooting at us already. Okay. He's also in a cutlass, so this should be interesting. exploded anybody else here so I'm getting close to the uh, right side here I wonder where that hornet went, that super hornet. He could be an actual human pirate. A real player, I mean. Let me see if I can see anybody else here. No, I don't see any other people. Actual players, I mean. No. Okay. So I think it's safe to get out. Let's see if we can get closer. Yeah, that should be enough. Alright, I'm just gonna leave the engine running. I'm gonna hop outside. And try and find Mr. Ross Kolakowski. Yeah, I think that was his name. So, rifle out. Flashlight on. And let's go. Okay. Um, I have no idea what happened there. I have no idea what happened. So I'm just going to go ahead and close this door. I don't want other people getting in my ship. There we go. Close. Thank you. Let me see if I can find Chief Engineer Kolokovsky. Now, it would be awesome if he was alive and we could take him back to his family. But somehow... Unfortunately, I can think that he's dead. He might not be alive. Now, there are bits of cargo around here that we can take back with us, but that's not our objective at the moment. We want to find Chief Engineer Kulakovsky. So we're pretty much looking for a body. We're looking for a body. I'm 
Now the constellation has a crew of four, I think. Oh. There's a buddy right there. That's unfortunate. Is that him? No, I think you're supposed to go up to it and be able to click search. And that just takes off the the uh the the individual as found so apparently I can't do that on that body now as I said the constellation has a crew of three or four so there's bound to be other people around here other bodies I mean now I do have a habit of getting lost whilst while I'm in a uh, wreck site like this because there's bits everywhere, I don't know where I'm going. I just get lost. Ah, there we go. Another crew member. Is that Mr. Russ? Nope. I can't interact. There's nothing I can do, like I can't interact with the body. Nope. Hmm. So that's just two people right there. Did I check over here? No, I haven't checked over there. That's this that's the uh the ship's bridge. There's another deceased um crew member. Let me put the gun away. Is that him? Now any one of these um, these bodies could be Mr. Um, Kolokovsky, but I just can't interact with it. Like I can't click search, or you know, no, no, normally when you come up to a um, a body like that, you can you go up to it and hold F, and you can click search. I think I just hurt myself bumping into this piece of metal. Let me get away from it. Okay, so that's just three people. So it could be that none of those three people were actually Mr. Kulikovsky, that's why we couldn't interact with them. Or it could be just that the mission is bugged, really. Now you'd expect to find an engineer at the back, right? Looks like there's another person. Is that him? Mr. Kulikovsky? Now again, I can't click. There's no option. 
I mean, if we look at the um, the mission criteria sheet, all it says is uh, locate Chief Engineer Russ Kulakovsky. So that's four people we've come across. Right? I think that's the same person. Ah, there we go. That's Mr. Kulikovsky. There we go. Oh, poor guy. He's dead, unfortunately. Now, we can do two things. Now that we've completed our mission, we can continue, get back onto our ship and go back. Or, however, we can take some of that uh, stuff that we find here, right? And we might be able to sell them. Okay, guys, so I just picked up two boxes of loot. Um, not sure how appropriate this is. Because, obviously, this wreck belongs to somebody. It belongs to a company, right? So... It's probably not so appropriate to just uh, take the loot. Okay. So for some reason it was just glitched out when I was trying to come back in. Um, what happened to the box that I was carrying? Anyway, let's just leave. Is it on my character? No. Yeah, I just got this box right here, as well as another one that I was carrying, but apparently I dropped it when I was coming back in. It bugged out. Contact. Oh, there's another pirate. Elias Douglas. Should we go after him? Yeah, I think we should. Let's go back to Port Olazar, guys. Let's head back to Port Olazar. Guys, so here I am in the uh, navigational menu. I just wanted to show you something. So here we are in Delamar, right? Now, De Delamar should not be around Crusader. It's just being moved here temporarily for the Alpha. It will be moved back to another system where it uh, normally is, where it belongs, okay? So here we are around Crusader, right? This is the Crusader gas giant, right? We're in the outer ring in Delamar. Here's the inner ring, Damar, Yellar, and Selen, right? And check this out, right? Delamar is really far away. Now watch this. Wow. So this is the uh, Staten Sun, right? The star. Here's Hurston. 
an arc corp. Now check it out. I can click on Hurston. I can say set it set as destination, right? Now let's see if we can travel to um, to Hurston. So it's all the way over there, guys. What is it? Is it? That's 32 million kilometers away, guys. That's Hurston right there. And what about Arcorp? Where is that? Over there. 42 million kilometers away. That's insane. So at the moment we can't jump to it. Like uh, our quantum drives aren't that powerful. But that's pretty cool. So we gotta come back in all the way. Now if you guys think traveling in Crusader takes a while, imagine this guys. Imagine traveling to Hurston or to Arcorp from Crusader. It should be really fun though. Okay guys, so here we are. Quantum jumping back to Port Olazar. Now I had to go all the way around um, Delamar. Port Olazar was obstructed. So I cut that bit out so you don't see you guys don't have to watch me travel all the way around uh, Delamar. But you guys saw how big the system will eventually be, right? So jumping to Port Alazar from Delamar takes a while, right? As you can see. Now imagine jumping from here all the way to Arcor. Now I'm not sure if we're eventually going to be able to jump straight from here to Arcor or to Hurston. We might have to jump to a rest stop. You know, one of those uh, truck stops or something that they're planning to uh, to eventually put into the uh, into the game. So, guys, uh, thank you so so much for watching this episode of uh, Star Citizen. Um, as always, um, I wish you all uh, all the best, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. And until next time, bye bye.